In today's Body Mastery video, we're delving into a comprehensive breakdown of 23 exercises across 5 tiers, determining which ones sculpt that coveted Dorito-shaped back and which ones should be relegated to the depths of workout purgatory. Please remember that this evaluation is purely my personal perspective. I'll be ranking these lat-focused exercises based on my experience and their efficacy in targeting the lats. The deadlift. While it does involve the lats to some degree, it's important to recognize that its primary emphasis is distributed among the glutes, hamstrings, and mid-back. The deadlift shines as a phenomenal compound movement, sculpting these major muscle groups and fostering overall strength. However, when it comes to targeting the lats specifically, the deadlift falls short of being a brilliant lat-focused exercise. The mechanics of the movement, although involving the lats for stabilization, don't provide the stretch and contraction necessary for optimal lat development. For this reason, it falls into the average tier. The Dumbbell Row If there were one exercise to crown as the epitome of lat engagement, the Dumbbell Row would claim that title. Whether you choose a standing stance or opt for the stability of a bench, this exercise truly shines in effectively activating the lats. As you pull the dumbbell towards your hip, the lats undergo a dynamic stretch, followed by a controlled contraction that targets this muscle group with precision. This exercise's versatility and capacity to provide both stretch and resistance make it a standout choice for anyone seeking a powerful lat workout and so it's the first exercise to make it into the god tier. Pull-ups in the realm of lat targeting exercises, pull-ups emerge as a clear standout. From the classic chin up to the dynamic neutral grip variation, all forms of pull-ups offer an exceptional opportunity to engage the lats. The act of hanging freely from the bar grants an impeccable stretch to the lats, setting the stage for optimal activation during the pulling motion. This hanging position requires the lats to bear the load and execute the movement, resulting in significant lat development over time. As a cornerstone exercise in any lat-focused routine, pull-ups reign supreme in the god tier of our ranking. The one-arm pull-up Transitioning to the one-arm pull-up, we find an exercise that occupies the average tier of our ranking. While it retains some potential for lat engagement through the stretching motion, the pulling path of the one-arm pull-up doesn't maximize lat activation to the same extent as other exercises. The intricate balance and mechanics required for this movement can limit the degree of tension placed on the lats, affecting their overall development. While still valuable for building upper body strength, the one-arm pull-up falls short of achieving brilliance in lat-focused training. CrossFit Pull-Ups Another variant of pull-ups is the CrossFit Pull-Ups, an exercise that regrettably doesn't do justice to lat engagement. Despite its popularity, this variation falls short in providing the ideal mechanics required for effective lat activation. The movement's design and execution hinder the lats from receiving the optimal stretch and contraction necessary for substantial growth. As a result, CrossFit pull-ups find themselves to be the first in the very bad tier. Pullovers Prepare to uncover a hidden gem in the realm of lat training. Often overlooked or underestimated, pullovers possess a unique ability to combine lat stretching with substantial load handling. Positioned in the god tier, the deliberate stretch they provide to the lats, coupled with the resistance they offer, makes pullovers a valuable asset for those seeking a well-rounded approach to sculpting their back. Straight Arm Pulldowns In the pursuit of lat mastery, the straight arm pulldown enters the scene, aspiring to replicate the stretch and contraction dynamics of pullovers. While it comes close to mirroring certain aspects, the full potential of stretch and contraction achieved through pullovers remains slightly elusive. As a result, the straight arm pulldown finds its deserving place in the above average tier, offering a valuable alternative to pullovers without fully capturing their unique benefits. Neutral Grip Lat Pulldown The neutral grip lat pulldown is a remarkable exercise that earns its place as a solid choice for your lat-focused arsenal. This movement mirrors the stretch experienced during a pull-up, allowing you to engage the lower lats effectively. By grasping the handles in a neutral grip, you mimic the hanging position of a pull-up, creating an environment conducive to optimal lat activation. The neutral grip lat pull-down becomes a valuable tool in sculpting a strong and defined back, earning its place in the god tier. 
Pronated Grip Lat Pulldown While this exercise isn't without merit, it doesn't fully replicate the mechanics of a pull-up, compromising its potential for optimal lat engagement. The path of motion and grip placement can affect the degree of tension placed on the lats. While the pronated grip lat pulldown does contribute to overall back development, it falls short of achieving the same level of lat activation as exercises that closely mimic the pull-up mechanics. As such, while it's a viable option, there are better alternatives available for those seeking to prioritize lat growth. For these reasons, it falls into the above average tier. Supinated Grip Lat Pulldown Among the array of options, the supinated grip lat pulldown emerges as a standout contender. Its unique mechanics grant you the power to tuck your elbows closer to your sides, paving the way for a superior lat contraction. This subtle adjustment transforms the exercise into a precision tool, effectively targeting the lats with heightened intensity. While it doesn't quite ascend to the zenith of the pull-up's prowess, the supinated grip lat pulldown remains an undeniably valuable asset in your arsenal of lat-focused exercises. It makes it into the very good tier. One-arm lat pulldown This exercise boasts a distinctive dynamic that capitalizes on both stretch and contraction, culminating in a potent formula for robust lat development. As you execute the movement, your body dances between a fully stretched position and a powerful contraction, magnifying the impact on your lats. A true heavyweight in the lat building journey, the one-arm lat pulldown guarantees to leave an indelible mark on your back transformation, it makes it into the god tier. Lat Pulldown Machine Transitioning to a familiar favorite, the lat pulldown machine presents itself as a beginner-friendly gateway to lat engagement. However, while its accessibility is commendable, it falls slightly short in delivering the complete range of motion necessary to achieve optimal lat activation. The machine's design, while facilitating controlled movements, inadvertently limits the potential for a full stretch and contraction of the lats. While a valuable starting point, it's worth exploring other exercises that offer a more comprehensive lat targeting experience, it goes in the average tier. Seal Rose this exercise finds its well-deserved place in the very good tier, sharing some parallels with traditional barbell rows. What sets seal rows apart is their unique approach to lat engagement. By allowing your shoulders to roll forward during the movement, you create an environment that maximizes lat involvement. This deliberate adjustment unleashes a cascade of benefits, ensuring that your lats are the focus of the workout, resulting in an enhanced and effective training experience. Supinated Grip Barbell Row This exercise reigns supreme by affording you the invaluable advantage of better elbow tucking. This subtle alteration in grip mechanics translates to a profound enhancement in lat contraction. With each pull, the lats experience a more pronounced and targeted engagement, leading to a level of muscle activation that sets the stage for transformative lat development. For these reasons, it makes it into the very good tier. Pronated Grip Barbell Row while it holds its own as a solid lat-focused exercise, its mechanics impose certain limitations on achieving the optimal path for lat activation. The pronated grip and movement trajectory may hinder the lats from experiencing the fullest stretch and contraction, placing it within a tier where alternatives with more precise lat engagement stand out. The pronated grip barbell row claims its spot in the average tier. Cable rows the intricacies of cable rows emerge as a topic of discussion, showcasing their potential effectiveness in engaging the lats. The position and technique employed during cable rows can significantly influence their impact on lat activation. Depending on your approach, cable rows can navigate their way to the very good tier, offering a versatile option for lat-focused training that can yield substantial results when executed correctly. One-Arm Cable Rows the spotlight shines on one-arm cable rows, securing their position in the god tier. This exercise stands out for its unique rotational capacity, granting you the freedom to execute each repetition with precision and finesse. This dynamic movement pattern ensures optimal lat activation, as you seamlessly transition between stretch and contraction. The result is a targeted and impactful workout that places the lats at the forefront of your training regimen. Penlay Rows Pendlay rows offer notable advantages in targeting the upper back muscles, contributing to overall back development. However, when it comes to direct lat targeting, 
these exercises fall slightly short. While pendle rows certainly play a role in creating a balanced and strong back, their impact on the lats may not be as pronounced as other exercises designed specifically for lat engagement. Chest Supported Rows The chest supported row, while sharing similarities with seal rows, unveils a nuanced approach to muscle activation. What sets it apart is its limited adjustability, which results in a greater emphasis on upper back activation rather than lats. While chest-supported rows contribute to a well-rounded back development, their focus tilts toward the upper back, securing their place in the average tier. Shrugs Unveiling a common misconception, we shed light on shrugs and their role in lat development. Contrary to popular belief, shrugs are primarily tailored to work the trapezius muscles, residing in the very bad tier of our ranking. While they undoubtedly play a role in upper body strength and posture, their primary focus lies on the traps rather than the lats. This revelation serves as a reminder to differentiate between exercises that target distinct muscle groups. Renegade Rows While these rows demand engagement from various muscle groups, including the core and upper body, their effectiveness in significantly targeting the lats is somewhat limited. As a result, renegade rows find themselves positioned in the very bad tier when evaluated specifically for their lat-focused impact. While their compound nature contributes to overall strength and stability, the extent of lat engagement doesn't place them at the forefront of exercises tailored for this particular purpose. Rowing Machines Our journey takes an unfortunate turn as we examine the role of rowing machines in lat engagement. Despite their allure and convenience, rowing machines fall short in delivering the precise mechanics needed to effectively target the lats. This deficiency relegates them to a position in the very bad tier when it comes to lat development. While these machines have their merits in cardiovascular fitness and overall body conditioning, their impact on lats remains lacking, emphasizing the importance of seeking alternative exercises for optimal lat activation. Muscle Ups Our exploration culminates with the dazzling display of muscle ups, an exercise that exudes prowess and showcases impressive strength. While undeniably captivating, muscle-ups warrant an insightful evaluation of their lat-targeting potential. In comparison to the tried-and-true pull-up, muscle-ups don't quite maximize lat activation. While muscle-ups showcase exceptional skill and versatility, the classic pull-up continues to hold a unique place in the hierarchy of lat-focused exercises. This places them in the above-average tier, signifying their admirable qualities but acknowledging that they may not be the ultimate choice for those seeking to prioritize lat development. And there you have it. A full breakdown and ranking of 23 lat exercises. Remember, these rankings are subjective, and if an exercise resonates with you, stick to it. Your individual preferences and goals should guide your choices. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more body mastery content.